linear dependence of vectors. If u equals to 4 times w and v equals to 5 times w, prove that the vectors u and v are linearly dependent. Now factors u and v are linearly dependent if they are parallel or if you could write them as a scalar multiple, right? So we'll use these properties to prove. We are given u equals to 4 times w. So the vector u is 4 times w. That means if, let us say this is my vector w, then u is 4 times w. That means it is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So that is u. So if you are given w, you know v is 4 times w. And we are also given that v equals to 5 times w. So for the given vector w, which is in green shown here, v will be what? 5 times. So basically we will write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Along the same line, 5 times. That is what we mean that well, this is V, and the other one which I did was U, right? Four times was U, so this is U for us. Now, as you can see from here, that U is parallel to W, right? Vector U is parallel to W, and we know V is parallel to W, right? And this implies that U is also parallel to W. Now, since u, v, and w are parallel, so all the three vectors are parallel. Since all the three vectors are parallel, they are linearly dependent. So that is one way of solving this question, right? So that's one way. We have shown it kind of graphically with the help of geometry, right? The algebraic solution could be, we say u equals to 4 times w, right? So that means we could write w equals to one fourth of u, right? Now we are saying v is equals to five times w. So vector v is five times w. But we know that w is one fourth of vector u. Therefore we can write vector v equals to five times w is one fourth of vector u. Correct? Or v is 5 over 4 of vector u. Now here, what are we saying? We are saying that vector v is scalar multiple. Of vector u, right? Therefore, they are collinear. Correct? So that is the second property which we learned with, which could be used to show that the vectors are collinear, right? Now let me just rewrite this equation in a different way, right? So what I will do now is rewrite it in a different way so that I can show you the other ways of proving that the vectors are indeed collinear, right? So what I'll do now here, I can write this as v minus 5 over 4u equals to 0 or I could write 4v minus 5u equals to 0. Do you see that? So you could write this as a linear equation combination. Do you see? Combination of linear equation. And that is another way of proving that the vectors are lean. So you remember we had 4 times v could be written in general m times v plus k times u equals to 0, right? So that's the linear combination, right? So either way, we could prove that these two vectors are linearly dependent. I hope this example helps you and it goes well with the earlier multiple choice question where you can appreciate all different parts of conditions which should be true or which are true for linearly dependent vectors. I hope that helps and brings everything together. Thank you and all the best.